Hi everyone, I am back with another video and in this video I will be explaining you how you can customize your out of the box SharePoint form using Power Apps. So you can see I have already created one leave request list and if I click on new you can see it's our default SharePoint form. So this is a pretty much vanilla form without any uh, beautification. So to apply some beautification what you can do you can go to Power Apps and click on customize forms. It will open up the Power App window, and uh, in that window, you would be having many options to beautify your form and change the layout as well, the formatting, the size, and everything. All right. So in the right hand side, you can see there are a lot of options, and uh, the first one is data, related to data source because it's already binded to leave request list. You did not to do anything over here. And the third option is snap to columns. Okay, so now you can change the alignment of the columns. So I'm just picking two. So that means like it created two grid, uh, two columns. And beneath that there is a layout vertical or horizontal. So you can see the title and the labels comes a bit up uh, from the actual input fields, and you can change it uh, the, the horizontal as well. Now it's there, but uh, for the sake because uh, the vertical looks a bit better, so I'm just choosing the vertical one. And the other option uh, you see is default mode. So what uh, should be the default mode? Because we are editing, uh, we are editing this new form and it form. So I'll just keep it mode as added. And beneath that, there are options related to size of this entire panel. So you can fix up the size. You can uh, apply the uh, custom background color but uh, I would prefer to use the themes so so that it can take care of headers and everything so I'm just selecting one of the things okay so it uh, looks pretty much better now and now as you I'm just zooming it out okay so now as you see uh, there are a few fields which are related to approval status I would not like to have them available for end users so I'm just uh, selecting that and the right hand side I'm just choosing and in a way, uh, disabling that visibility off moving it off and selecting the final status making it off as well because these status has to be driven via uh, flow and has to be set based on the what uh, the state uh, the workflow status is So now we are good. So I just would like to capture the employee name the start date and date and the attachment if somebody wants to add anything So we are pretty much there There are a lot of options with the customization. So you may try uh, your hands over here, but uh, just for the sake of uh, How to how to quickly you can customize the tune of your form. I'm just showing you that so once you're done, you can just go to the files and save this. And uh, you can directly publish to SharePoint. And before that, I would like to show you one setting that is you may want to change your form layout setting from landscapes to portrait. So you may do the changes there and click apply. So I'm leaving it as is and publishing to SharePoint. So now it's uh, getting available for us in SharePoint. I'm just uh, opening a new window. And if I click on a new field, a uh, new button, and it starts giving this form. So you can see the date is coming up very much weird. So you can go back to your form and you can just select the date. There's particularly the date label and uh, you can fix that up with uh, applying a uh, font size to it. So I'm just applying 14 and the other one as well. So I'm just uh, scrolling down and applying 14. Now it looks much better. So these are few adjustments you have to do while you are working with uh, customizing uh, your SharePoint list form with Power Apps. Okay, so now just clicking on new. Okay, I need to refresh it. So we are pretty much there. So 
you just understood that how you can customize the form and how you can apply the branding to it so now the important thing if you would like to get rid of your form then how to do that so you can go to list settings and under the form settings you will find that the the set the option selected is user custom form create in power app so you can change back that to use a default sharepoint form and delete the custom form so it will just remove all your customization what you've done in power apps and reset restore your sharepoint form again so if i click on new you can see the sharepoint form is there so i hope uh, this could be helpful for you going forward uh, branding your forms thank you